Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a third application using Java Swings and MySQL Server. In my last video, I completed the functionality of clearing the text from these text boxes the moment when the user either clicks on the save or clear button. Okay? And now in this video, I will discuss how to validate this text field so that user should not enter any null records okay so whenever user tries to enter the data by leaving any of this text field blank then an appropriate messages should get displayed to the user like usm field is required name field is required branch or subject on subject to like that okay so we will set those validations for our application so that a user should not enter any null records okay so now let me just do that for that first we need to close this okay and we need to create a function for that okay now uh, let's create a function public boolean validate okay validate save okay so this is our function validate save and we have a data type or return type as boolean okay we have a boolean written type and the name of the function is validate save okay, okay. and then we'll create a boolean variable and we will set it to false okay and then we will use an if condition okay else okay. and then we will use the reference of text field usn just text field one dot get text dot equals okay if the text field one which is usn field is empty then we will we will set the value b to false okay and else part will, and then we will at the end we will return the b okay okay now you can see if the text field one which is text field usn text field is empty then we will set the boolean variable b to false and then we will display a message dialog box j option pane dot show message dialog okay null okay and then we will set an appropriate message as usn require okay now we will use this j text field one dot dot request focus okay save it okay and then in else part we will we will set the boolean variable to true okay so if the user tries to submit the form without entering any of the text field or missing any of the text field value then we will set the variable boolean variable to false and we will display them appropriate messages use and required okay and then again we will bring the mouse cursor to be focused on that same text field which is text field one okay otherwise we will set the boolean variable b to true that means we have we have uh, filled we have filled all the information successfully in each and every text field each and every text box at that time we will return the value b to the calling function okay okay now let's save it okay and now let's run this okay now if i tries to click on this save now I have not entered any information inside this USN text field. So when I click on save, okay, 
it will it's displaying me an error okay here okay so you can see it's displaying me an error because i have not called this function inside save okay if validate save okay we need to put the save function inside this validate save because we need to check for all those emptiness then only we need to go to the save okay so now let me just execute it once again okay now let's click on the save button without entering any information in this text field okay now it's displaying me a message as usr required okay so like this we need to set the user validation for all these text fields okay let's do that okay inside the else if okay again we need to we need just need to copy the same thing and we need to change it to text field to okay and then we need to copy the same thing here paste it okay and this one is username username is required okay and then we need to copy the same thing for the next field which is our combo box okay uh, yes next thing okay this is the second and this one is third one okay combo box one j combo box one okay let me just copy that and let's put it here we need to change this delete it dot get selected item okay and then an equals double quote okay and then here branch required okay then i will just copy the same thing then i will paste it here okay and then i will change it to two okay and then i will change it to semester required okay and then i will copy this thing and i will then paste it four times okay and here okay number box one copy this bit here copy this bit here okay and then here it will be j text field 3 this one is for subject 1 okay subject 1 required okay again we need to copy this and put it here okay and then text field 4 this one is called subject 2 okay copy paste it here okay, and then this one is 5 and here also is 5 subject 2 subject 3 okay 6 okay subject 4 okay and then we have total and percentage okay for that again we need to copy the same piece of code and put it here for 7 and 8 for 7 here 8 here at 8 and here also here it's 7 okay now here it's total required and here percentage required okay now save it okay so now you can see i have set the validation for each and every field which i have taken inside my cloud application okay usn okay and then username okay it should change to two okay and then branch okay combo box one combo box one combo box two combo box two okay this one is semester and then we have text field three we have text field three which is subject one text field four text field four subject two 
and then we have five five subject three okay and then six subject four seven total eight percentage okay now let's save it and now run it okay now if i click on save by leaving this usn it will display me a usn required message okay so now let me just enter so and sell okay it's a pura okay and select the branch and semester okay and then if i click on save by leaving the subject one it will display me a subject one is required okay then i will enter 80 okay again i will click on save it is playing the subject to require okay and then i will enter 80 okay again it's displaying you subject 3 required again okay so now next i will click on save see it's displaying the subject 4 required and the moment when i click ok the mouse cursor will be moved to subject 4 text field automatically okay and then again okay total required okay. 3 20 okay and then percentage required okay then i will enter and now when i click on save okay it's displaying me a message as, message as data saved successfully and now let me just go to the database table and here we had five records now let us see the six record also gets inserted which is poor up record okay so now this is how we can set the user validation okay so that uh, we should not or the user should not enter null records into the database okay so i hope you like this video okay so now let me just come back here okay so what we had done is we had we have created a function of which has the return type as boolean because it will return a value of either 0 or 1 or true or false here okay so if the value returned by this validate function is 1 that means success or otherwise it fails okay now okay we need to first set the boolean variable b to false if the text field is blank then we will set the boolean variable b to false and we will display the message appropriate message okay otherwise we will set the boolean variable to true and then we will return that value to the calling function okay like this we need to keep on repeating the same code for each and every field okay so this is everything about uh, setting up validation for our cred application okay uh, i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching